All right, welcome back to the next video in this series. In the last video, we set up the spring so that we can use that throughout our level designing. And this video, we are going to build our first level. And we're going to build it uh, in a way that interests our player. It challenges our player. It teaches them how to play the game without us giving instructions. And uh, they're able to figure out the game and have fun at the game as well. And I will discuss that as we go along. For now, I am going to uh, start painting some things on. And I'm going to get rid of this collision, that collision, and then my objects. I'm going to get the eraser out and get rid of the barrel. Okay, so I'm going to just kind of talk as I go along. Feel free to pause this video or uh, just listen to me ramble on for a while and then go back and design your level. You can design it exactly how I have it if you want or if you wish to do your own design. Obviously, that's all up to you. If I were to make a suggestion, I would say try to stay as close to what I am designing as possible because a lot of what I explain revolves around the design that we make. So I'm going to lock that and on my collisions layer I'm going to move my wall over until I figure out where it needs to go and then I'm going to get my bricks unlocked, selected, and get my background and I'm going to start painting with the rectangle tool. I think that might be uh, how I have it. I'm trying to get as close as I can to how I did this the first time around because there's a lot of good ideas and, and thoughts that go into this particular design. So, okay, I'm going to go with that for right now. You're going to notice a lot of me going back and forth, selecting different tile maps, locking different layers, and that's just something I would strongly suggest getting used to doing because it can be kind of tedious sometimes, but it prevents a lot of mistakes from happening. Okay. I'm going to move some things around and I'm going to have to turn snap to grid off to move that back into place. I think probably somewhere around there. Okay, and I can lock that, lock that, lock that. And then I'm going to open my bricks back up, get it selected. I'm going to actually turn the collisions off because now I don't need them because I'm just going to paint. So get used to where your tiles are and which ones you use the most, which ones you need, and make sure you're on the right tool whenever you go to paint or change something. And also remember that his jumping is uh, five, five units or sections high. So keep that in mind when you are designing your levels. All right, back to this tool. And I'm just going to go through here and just kind of get a, a design going. All right, so I have the basic layout of my first castle here, but uh, it's set up this way because I have objects to place as well. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to lock my bricks tile map and unlock my objects tile map. And I'm going to paint in uh, some objects for obstacles. All 
right. That is what I have set up as far as uh, placing spikes and barrels. So if you want to just uh, pause this or screenshot it or take a look at it and use it as a reference, you may. I actually I can see one place where I did not complete. That is right here. There we go. Okay, so now with all those locked, I'm going to unlock my objects uh, layer and I'm going to start placing some springs where I think I need them. So I'm going to click and drag out a copy. Now I'm going to make sure that my snap to grid is on. And then I want one right here. I'm going to put another one right here. And then one more right there. In fact, I am going to unlock my objects tile map, select it, get my pencil tool, select me a barrel, and put me a barrel right there. All right. Okay, that should be it for the springboards as well, for, for my version anyways. Um, nope, I, well, yes for springboards, no on the barrels. I forgot another one. So let's go ahead and put one in there. I think right in the middle of that. Looks good to me. Okay. Like I said, uh, design yours how you want. I would suggest staying somewhat close to what I have going on just for reference unless you feel confident that uh, you can follow along without uh, my graphical references. But yeah, that I think wraps that up. We have uh, painted on a full level. Now all we have to do is move our collisions into place and we're going to do that in the next video. So I'm going to end this here and I will see you in the next video. Don't forget to say.